All right, in this video, I'm going to set up my Linksys DMA2200 Windows Media Center extender for the very first time. Now, this is the remote control. I thought I'd give you something to look at. I'm up in my attic right now, and I'm going to put this on my 8-foot television set behind me here. And unfortunately, because it's so big, it's going to be hard to get a good camera angle on it. So it might be a little bit distorted in your view, but it won't be in real life here. So let's get to it. All right, here we go. First thing up is quick setup. It says, welcome to the Linksys Media Extender. This quick setup guide will help you set up your new Linksys product. To proceed with setup now, select next. So I'm just going to hit OK on my remote because next is already selected down here. And of course I'm speaking English, so I'm going to select that and hit next. And then it says HDMI detected. An HDMI connection has been detected. This high quality digital connection will be used as your display connection. To continue with setup, select next. So that should take care of both my audio and video on this. So let's hit next. Okay, the next thing up here is choose digital audio output mode. If you have four or more speakers, you should choose surround, otherwise choose stereo. I actually have 7.1 up here. I have seven speakers and a subwoofer. So I'm going to hit surround. Now I don't know if this device is going to support the 7.1. It should at least support the 5.1. Let's hit next. Okay, it says select the type of network you wish to connect to. Wired and wireless network settings are stored separately. This allows you to switch network type without losing your settings. I'm going to be using a wireless network. And hit next. Okay, it says setup complete. You have successfully set up your device on your home network. Select next to continue setting up the extender. All right, welcome to Windows Media Center. If you have a PC with Windows Vista Home Premium or Ultimate or later and a home network, you can set up this device as a Media Center extender. That's why I bought it. For more information on extender before setup, select learn more. To proceed with setup now, select next. I'm going to hit next. Now it says extender setup key. To set up this extender for use with a PC, write down the eight digit setup key provided and go to the PC for your remainder of the setup. So now I'm going to run downstairs and bring you guys with me and enter this number into my home theater PC. Okay, so now I'm downstairs at my home theater PC, and I'm going to go and find where you set up the extender. Okay, I'm going down to Tasks, which is the lowest menu item on Media Center, and I'm going to go to Add Extender. All right, it says Extender Setup. Media Center Extender Setup. All the live and recorded TV, music, videos, and pictures you enjoy in Windows Media Center can be enjoyed on your TV with a Media Center Extender. Media Center Extenders are built right into devices such as DVD players, TVs, and even your Xbox 360. In a few easy steps, you can set up your computer to work with a Media Center Extender. Select Next to get started. So I'm going to hit Next. And now I'm going to enter in the key that the computer upstairs, or the extender upstairs, gave me. Okay, I entered in the key, and it says configuring your extender and computer. Please wait while the following tasks are completed. Configuring your computer settings, check. Searching for your extender, check. The next thing on the docket is configuring your extender, which it's doing now, and then building media library and connecting your extender. So hopefully this doesn't take too long, but if it does, I will edit this process out for time purposes. Okay, you're done. The extender should now be showing Windows Media Center, and it may be used to enjoy live and recorded TV, music, videos, and pictures. Additional options for managing your extender can be found under Settings. So I'm going to hit Finish down here, and then we're going to go back upstairs, and see what we have up there on the extender. Okay, so we're back up in the attic and this is what it looks like. Pretty much looks like Windows Media Center on a Windows Media Center PC, only this is on the extender. So let's scroll through the selections here. And it seems pretty smooth, not quite as smooth as you'd see it on the actual computer itself, but that's because this is all getting beamed from that Windows 
media center PC straight to this extender up here. And you can access all of your, you know, anything you do have on that computer, whether it's pictures and videos, music, or live TV on this device. Let's go to the guide here and we can see what's going on. And you can set recordings from this device. You can pause live TV on this device. And you can also press the record button on the remote and it will record whatever you're watching. And you can also access your recorded TV. I have a couple things recorded. And you can watch them straight from here. So that is the Linksys DMA2200, and that pretty much does it for this video. So as always, if you like what you see, please subscribe. If you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.